Guys, get in here. I used one stone to catch seven birds. Unbox and review this seven in one snack maker with me. I really wanted a waffle maker and I was so, you know, excited and kind of confused because I didn't know the product to buy. By the way, first, this is not an advert. I was not paid for this. I was not even asked to do this, but I just wanted to you know, show you guys this seven in one snack maker I got online. Here I am unwrapping the seal or the wrap with a scissors. I really wanted a waffle maker, but coming across something else that can do several things at the same time or several things at different times, I was really blown. I was really excited. So here I am, got the delivery this morning and I decided, wow, let me just show you other people who may also be in the same situation. Maybe they want something, a type of snack maker, or they want a waffle maker like I do, or like I did in the past, and then I found this. Let me also show those guys that there is also something like this for people who don't know. So I got this product. It's a Sonashi product. That's the name of the company. And here I am. I finished just unwrapping it, almost finished unwrapping it. I just, you know had to open it up to see what is inside. Guys, I was really excited to do this. I was really, really, really excited to, you know, find this. And yeah, I open it up and the first thing I find is the cartons, the the seals, the machine. I think I can see the machine. And then there's this brown carton I'm taking out. Yes, yeah, this one and it's sealed as well. And I take off this, this stuff, this foam, yeah, it was used to protect the machine, the maker. This is the waffle maker machine. Yes, this is the waffle maker machine itself. I was just so excited to see it. It looks like a toaster, guys. You know, the normal old school toaster. That's just what it looks like. And this is just what I'm seeing. I just examine it. Just have been examining it. And I unwrap it. Like, unwrapping. The unwrapping is quite easy. It's just a nylon placed over it. I set it out on the table and the first I look at the cord. Okay, that is just it. I open it up and hmm. Um, okay. Let me just see what else is inside. Opening the inside, I see the waffle maker is just there. The waffle plate is there. Just kind of covered with this other shield or the other, you know, plastic shield. So this is what it looks like. Hmm. Finding a waffle maker, I haven't had one in a long while. So finding this, it was relieving, it was exciting, oh, it's exciting. Yes, I'm trying to figure out how to take out the plate. Okay, you press the two buttons down and it comes off. And you do the same thing for the upper part, I think. I'm trying to find out how it works. Do you press it down or take it up? No, I take it down and it's not working. Oh. I wasn't even seeing that there is just this thing. Okay, okay. You have to take it up. You take it up. When you take it up, it also comes out. Okay, that's so nice. That's beautiful. I like that this is so easy to detach. Quite detachable and easy to wash as well. Cleaning this plate up will be very easy. I can see it. Unlike other products or other non-detachable makers or snack makers that you can't detach, Cleaning them up can be taxing because some of them may overflow into the machine, like this one. But what I'm seeing, I have to also be careful because when you have kids around, when you detach it, be careful not to allow them to touch it. I also found out that there is a manual, but at the point of making this video, I hadn't read it. I take out this other box to see what else I can find inside. And yes, I can see other snack maker plates inside. At this point, I'm so excited. Like, I'm really seeing a 7-in-1 non-stick multi-snack maker. Wow. The plates are so, you know, finding them or seeing them is really exciting. Like, other plates in one machine? For one machine? Wow. So, I don't know what this particular maker is but we'll all try it out in later days i'll try it out in later days then i see this donut plate mm, quite nice it's now to figure out how to make the snack with this even though i haven't had a pure knowledge of all the plates in here i see this one then there's this other one this other one yes i can see mm, 
it looks so nice i like that it's easy and it's not so heavy it's not so weighty and then there's this one it also maybe goes with the other one i just took down and there's this other one that looks like um a grill or would i say sandwich which which plate is this i think like um, and then we have to find the other one in the box yeah this is the other plate for the top and the bottom so easy to lift so easy to lift the machine is actually the heavier one it's actually heavier the machine is actually heavy and then there is the grill look at the grill plate seeing this grill plate i'm even more excited i have to also learn to like try it out i would love to try out the the everything with anything i have just right now i would like to try the plates to know if the plate is actually working <laughs> most times when you buy things online you are just like hmm, is this working is this will i need to send it back so that's it these are all the plates and let me try and fix them to know what they really look like when you fix them in the machine so here is the toast maker for toasting bread you know like the old school toast toasters or uh, same thing when you fix this toaster it just reminds you of the normal conventional toaster machines so this is it this is the toaster yeah easy to fix yeah so this is what it looks like when you have the toaster plate in there i clean it up and quickly apply some oil to start you know test out this machine to know if it's actually working i use the toast yeah i use the toaster to try it out at first this is what i got after five to six minutes yes it doesn't have a switch so we just plug it in and it has it starts toasting rather it starts toasting and when it's ready you find the indicator light showing i take it out and i want to check out if other plates actually do the same work i try out the other plate this is the grill plate i fix it in I want to know what it really looks like when you fix it in whether it's fitting you know this is the first time unboxing this so i want to be sure the plates fit properly so i can be sure if i'll keep it or i'll send it back to the company i also try it out with this bread guys do not overstuff your machines but it will do a good job at compressing it it's actually compressed it well so this is it it compressed it well and i and i liked it i'm just testing it out guys so this is what it gave me it was able to compress that big bread I'm amazed I'm surprised taking it out is quite easy take the two steps up or the two buttons up take them down take them up and it's off I try out the other plate it looks nice I test it out with this yes and i take it out as well it was nice it was able to compress the sandwich inside and it was nice and it fits properly i try out this donut plate just like the plates i've tried out the donut plates fit perfect is a perfect size is a perfect measurement everywhere is firmly covered firmly laid no in between no gap for things to pour out but the downside is just that i was trying to figure out how to make donuts with this and wondered why it didn't turn my donuts brown guys look when i tried it the donuts didn't turn brown so it's left for me to find the perfect recipe that will make this work and i hope it turns brown next time i take it out to check out other plates the rest of the plates are still there the thing with the rest of the plate is that if you don't look at the box before fixing this for you'll be confused you just think anyone goes but it's not how it works these are different snack makers and different shapes but the pairs are not uniform so i put on this first plate in the machine and i quickly went on with this other plate but looking at it it doesn't fit the snack won't match look at it the snack won't match so i just tried out this other plate and yet it still didn't match it doesn't give in it doesn't give in i had to look at the box at this point to know exactly which plate goes for which plate the pairs are quite confusing so if you ever get this snack maker just know that is this particular plate that goes with this one yes 
this plate goes with this one just as it is on the box yes i was just able to you know look at the box to find out so i take out the plate just like i did the other plates it fits right it fits right so I'll take it out then i try out the next plate i think that's the final plate we have in the box just know that this will go then this other plate look at this plate and this is the cupcake here yeah, looking at it you know it's a cupcake yes and when you cover it it just goes right this is a very good snack maker i love it then for the cord it just has this cord and nothing else when you switch it on the red comes on and when your meal is ready the green comes on that is just how you know whatever you're making is ready and for this other compartment it's just right the same thing it was able to compress this big loaf that is why i found it quite nice and for the waffle maker do not overfill your waffle maker and even though i haven't been able to figure out why all the waffles or the snack don't turn brown evenly i hope i'm able to figure it out the next time at this point guys hit the subscribe button are you curious to know how much i got this yes i got this for 159 saudi reals i converted on google and i found it's about 42 dollars 39 cents it's quite okay the price is lovely guys please like this video and also subscribe to my channel stay tuned for more content and have a beautiful day ahead